guys. Interesting development in the audio world here. Well, the digital audio world anyway. Um, MKS, so the plugin system that native instruments use and they've been using so that you can open up your VSTs on things like this and they're automatically linked up and controlled and you can use the arpeggiators and the chord creators as well as inside the machine. Now let's you load effects. Now the first company to really jump on board with this outside of NI themselves are Waves and they've done a massive bundle of the NKS ready to rock inside the machine and you can use them in complete control as well. I'm going to show you guys on the MK1 today just how that works and we'll have a look on the screen and on the hardware at just what we can do with those. By the way, if you like the Machinist t-shirt, link in the description. Let's uh, get into that. All right, so what we'll need to do here is install the updates of the Waves plugins that you have that are gonna become NKS options. We do easy install and activate. Make sure we log in here. And now up the top here, it will say checking for updates. we we'll just drag this down so you can see it. And when that finishes, we're gonna do updates available and it will show you the plugins that are ready to be updated and we need to update them from here. I need to close Logic Pro for us to carry on doing that. Now we just hit install and let Waves do its thing from there. Okay, so here we are in Machine and I've just got a patch loaded from the, what, Magnet Hustle. On the controller itself, we obviously go into Browse. We've got our different options. We use the tabs across the top on the MK1. We come over to effects and in effects we've got a couple of options to browse and we can do type and mode or product. Now in product, if we flick through, it's going to choose the different types of plugins and you'll be able to choose them by the name of the plugin that's available in Waves. So for example, if we choose a particular sound, what we can do is on the sampler section here, if we just tab across, go into the next session, we can load in one of the plugins. So if we go into browse, um, here we've got the Bower, so we could load that in. That's a stereo effect plugin. Uh, if we choose one of the presets as well, let's load that up. So you see that's now loaded on machine. So we come back out of browse up here. We've now got that and across here, we've got the knobs assigned to different parameters of the plugin automatically, which is good, we like that. We use these tabs here, we can tab through all the different sections of it as well. You'll notice on the software side, they're all linked and named across the top. Now, if you're using the uh, newer controllers as well, you're gonna have the full display here that will be able to actually show you the plugin you're using. It won't give you the GUI, but it will give you a better readout than just what we have in Browse here, but we've just got the options and the presets that we can choose, uh, similar to how it's shown in the browser on the machine itself. Now, a nice little thing here is if you're working with these particular parameters, but you need to see the actual output and plugin, you don't have to come away from the controller. You just hit the plugin button here. So we see there, we've now got the GUI up. If you press it again, it disappears. We can just keep bringing that up and then we can see what's actually going on with the sound and we can automate it in real time and change it in real time as well which is great so for example if we load the f6 and we can choose f6 full reset here we can load that up and we'll see now we've got the gui for the f6 and we can change it all in real time so let's maybe adjust Let's say band four right sort of in the middle area. I think that's set on 1K by default. We just tab along until we get to that band and you'll see it's gonna be named band four. Now with the F6, we've got band four and then band four dynamics because it's a dynamic EQ. So let's go on to band four and we're gonna say dip it quite extreme by about 6 dB. We're gonna give it a big range to work with as well. We'll leave it on bell type EQ and we'll leave it at 1K. There should be plenty of 1K frequency in that piece. And we'll just have a look at the dynamic section as well. We'll get the threshold back a little bit. Leave attack and release roughly where they are. And we should see that is now working. A 
Okay, and we were able to do that completely from the controller with relatively minimal effort. And then if we needed to see the plugin, just by hitting that and being able to bring it up to get a visual representation is great. And that speeds workflow up massively. Now working on the Mark 1 isn't the easiest because you only get these very basic layouts here, which just says say, F6. If you're working on one of the ones where the actual displays, it'll be similar to how you see it in Complete Control, which we'll look at shortly. Time for flexibility in working in machine, being able to grab any plugin and have them pre-configured like this with the presets is very, very helpful for any level of machine user, to be honest. Um, and if you're gonna limit your plugins inside machine so that you can only see the NKS based ones, a superb way to work with it. Um, another thing that's super useful, if we take say a plugin that's a bit more useful for automation, something like, yeah, perhaps something like Mix Centric, we'll just load that on full reset. Let's just say we, what we wanted to do was bring that in as this part progressed really nice thing that you can do with machine is that you can now record the automation input so quickly and easily per plugin per channel which is pretty amazing so literally all we've got to do is hit restart and get it playing hold the right automation and write it in so now when we play back can see that automation's being recorded in. So it makes recording plugin automation, bringing the plugins up and working with them all from the machine so much more versatile. Uh, it's added a considerable amount of versatility to machine just by having the NKS plugin format and effects format open for everyone to use. Let's have a look at, say, using it in Logic and Complete Control now, which is sort of a different kettle of fish. Okay, so we're obviously in Logic, and I've just used this beat, which if you've watched any of my videos previously, you might have seen the making of, where I used Complete Control, and I used it with the Grand Rhapsody piano from Waves, which seemed appropriate since we're looking at the Waves NKS integration for FX. So just to give you a real quick idea in case you haven't heard, Cool. And what we're going to focus on just here is the piano. More importantly, how the NKS system works with complete control. Now, it's not as smooth as machine, and there's definitely a way that we can get it improved. So firstly, you have to have something previously loaded, and the effects don't load into FX slots or even use the FX channels in your DAW. They all work from this instrument channel here. Um, there is a little icon up here which we need to engage and we then get this across the top. Now what we can then do is use the complete control if we just tap to the side we'll see it moves into a new type of window. Now when we hit browse it understands we're looking for effects and it will let us browse those effects. So we could again take the F6 for example, if we tap along we can take the full reset. We've then got that and it's laid out the same as it was in machine. Now the real downside to this is if you say had this window closed and we hit browse, it's now always going to be on the effects and we can't get out of that. There's no way for us to change. So what would make sense is if we had the instrument and effects section at the top here. Um, so that we could browse between them. So in the same way that we can browse between user libraries by clicking in, why not have the effects and instruments right here at the top? Because now I have to go in, find my instrument, open it, and reselect the Grand Rhapsody. And then on the flip side of that, if that's closed, I can't go up here and switch to effects. I can only access the instrument. So that's its real downside. It involves you having to get involved a little bit. You can't do everything from the controller, which is one of the, the great upsides. But once you're in this window and this is open, you can then navigate around it. And very similarly to what we looked at in uh, machine, just go through and see exactly what you've got going on and change everything as you see fit in sort of 
real time, etc., as you would before, because we've got the same sort of knob layout across these two as well. We can do exactly the same kind of thing. Cool, so that was a quick introduction just to show you how NKS effects are working and that waves have dropped a massive amount. There's over 70 uh, NKS effects now from waves. And I just thought I'd show you guys that anything in here is currently NKS enabled and on the Waves website if you go NKS Ready Effects and Instruments and um, it filters all the ones out that are currently working for you. There's loads of offer as well. As usual I've got an extra 10% uh, off discount that'll be in the description. You can use that and take an extra 10% off whatever you purchase with Waves. It's also worth noting that there's some exclusive bundles on the Native Instruments website where they've got some custom built bundles that don't exist elsewhere up to 90% off which is uh, pretty crazy that's worth checking out but I'm excited about this format I'm excited to see NKS effects working it's just a shame about the complete control option and having to faff around with the mouse rather than just being able to do it all from the keyboard which looks like it would be really easy to do just introduce it into the top of that browse feature there I don't know why they haven't done that but you know maybe in a future update we'll see that crop up so thank you very much for watching guys i hope to see you on the next video have a great day